now that you've got your FPV camera power, your video transmitter power, and the power for the flight controller, that's everything what you need set up a full power wise on your drone so you're ready to install your flight controller. But I'll show you. Right. My flight controller. For the uh, receiver for your controller, I've just got a positive and negative running off there. Run into a clip because I'm gonna be running through S bus and then go off UART two but well, I've gone off UART three you go to RX and stick your white wire if you're using an S-Bus and then basically that's your flight controller ready and is ready to plug straight into your receiver which you put it you've got two channels up on the top put the white wire at the very top corner and basically you can plug that in now and you're ready to go Right, installing your flight controller. Most of the time, they've got an arrow which tells you what's the front of the craft. So, like, the arrow's pointing forwards. <coughs> That's the front of my drone. So, install my flight controller on top. I'm going to try and sandwich a lot of these wires. That's the power to my receiver, just a positive and negative. And the signal wire coming up you are three you can pin out all your UART ports this was my first flight controller what I saw. yeah first one so I pinned everything out but you don't need all the pins my phone once it was on there it was all hitting and getting in the way all these pins so only pin out what you want to use but on this one there's no pin out because of that that basically is that it's the same thing, but that's just supposed to be neater. But yeah, after having all this wire in this set, that was quite neat. So, and then you just have the UARTs then, which I would use these UARTs. I've done it through a port, and then configuring it was a bit of a nightmare. It was binded, but it wouldn't work on clean flight or nothing like that. So, yeah, I. They'd recommend using these top ones. If you can find UART 3 or UART 2, if it's labelled that, use one of them because they're the easiest ones to select and get going. Right. I need to install my beaker so that I put this clip in. These two is a 5 pin clip on this flight controller, but I haven't got a 5 pin. So that I've got a four pin and missed the grand, but I'll grand it to another pin. I'll grand it by you. But that's my V bat, which if you remember I had a spear clip, which that's it. That was VCC, which now the positive of that is gonna be going to the V bat, which does the negative for the beaker, and then the second one across is the beaker. going to bind the receiver to the controller now. So basically you have your bind pin, I'll make something up, it's the two outside ones. Got VCC on there, it's basically it's, um, negative, positive, so connect that one into the VCC right at the end and then get a power source like I've got mine set up on the drone now so I can just use this stick it in any one so that it powers the second row and it's, it's now Get the battery that's blinking so we can put that there in a minute Switch on the well, hold that button, the bind button right in the corner. Switch. Ooh. There, it 
it's just binding okay. And now we're bound. Switch your controller off. Unplug the power. that one no more. Right, the clip what we've put on before, remember I showed you the, the signal wire to UART3 on the RX port and just a positive and negative, you can have that coming off the same port if you wanted but I just run it off a clip. Basically put this white wire at the top and this time we're going in that very top row up there, so it's like that. Two settings you might want to do on here first. Switch on. Um, hold OK. Fail safes, save them. If you don't know how to do fail safes, it's pretty much just I'll do the channel one for you. That's roll. Basically, leave that in the middle. Hold cancel, saved. The main one is channel 5 on mine because that's there. It's the arms and disarms, so if as long as that one's on and it disarms, then that's my fail saves done. And then if you go over to setup, AUX channels, just make sure that all your channels are all set up right. So that's switch A, switch B, switch C, which is missing, switch D. And then VR, A, VR, B. So, right, as long as you've got that, we're good to go. Let it go to uh, whatever configurator you're going to use. Uh, this, but, uh, clean flight, beat the flight, race flight, butter flight. I've, I'm have i going to be using butter flight on this one. I've tried um, beat the flight, clean flight I was using for a while, like a long time. And then I ran over the beat the flight not long ago. But, um, Change the butter flight. So uh, set the laptop up and I'll show you how to get it configured now.